Welcome back people, we are back out on the Cabo Mantis 8 Pro Plus. Now the Cabo Mantis itself, Cabo Mantis 8, is uh, weren't a very well built scooter because of course there was a lot of problems with it, stem problems and uh, things cracking. But with this one, because it's all been upgraded, but that's why it's called the 8 Pro Plus. But we are out today on a ride. We are back with Big Man as well. Big Man is on the Mi Pro 2 or Mi Electric Scooter Pro 2, other words known as the Xiaomi M365 Pro 2. So I've got some serious speed on this thing. This is not for the faint hearted, definitely not. You want to make sure that you wear motorcycle gloves and definitely put on a crash helmet. On the first ride we did, I crashed. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely, definitely make sure that you uh, wear a crash helmet and gloves. I've got auto cruise on, as you can see. Let's catch up with big man a little bit. 20 miles an hour, all that fast. Just picks up so quick, 24. 25, 26, nearly 27. <laughs> I got the 27 miles an hour on that little bit there. Crazy, man. So there's a nice little roar to the motor, which I love that. I like that little roar. So we're in the UK today, we're heading our way um, towards Peacehaven. That's the way we're heading. Oh, slow down a little bit, there's a bike there. So when you put this thing in single motor, it's not too bad. As soon as you change over to dual motor, this thing, you've got to be very, very light with the throttle. Be very light because it just absolutely wants to go. I definitely love the fact that we use the index finger. Don't worry about stopping for me, man. I'll always catch you up. Don't worry about stopping, it's all good. So I'm gonna get some upgrades for this scooter for sure. The one main thing I definitely want is mirrors. Because I have to keep turning my head to look behind, which Sometimes that can put you off balance. So I definitely 100% want mirrors on this thing. I had auto cruise on, I was wondering why it weren't going faster. Now with the auto cruise, you don't have to use that yourself. I use it because I use it on every scooter, I like it. It's not for everybody, but it definitely is for me. So if you don't want to miss out on more electric scooters, as well as this one, the Cabo Mantis 8 Pro Plus, and the Xiaomi's, we've shown so many videos on the Xiaomi scooters and repairs and reviews. One year review, one month review and stuff like that. We've tried solid tyres for a year. Yeah, we've been busy on these electric scooters for sure. So if you're interested in electric scooters or even gaming, and then this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out for the next video. And of course, if you've got any comments, do leave them in the comment section below. Now let's catch up with him a little bit. I've got to admit, this scooter can be a bit intimidating because of its sheer size and its speed. It can make you a little nervous, especially once you've fallen off once, it makes you that little bit more wary. I'm not afraid of it, but I'm just, uh, um, what should we say? 
very cautious. <laughs> That's the best thing to say. Very cautious. Shame the sun isn't out. It's a little bit chilly today, but not too bad. Look how quick it gets to 20. There's 20 already. It's insane how fast this thing picks up speed. But there is one good thing. The brakes on this are definitely the best brakes. I've ever had on any scooter for real they are absolutely I can't explain how good they are this is a little bit of a tip on a motorbike the brakes are good well on here the brakes are better than a motorbike that's how good they feel they're absolutely incredible how good they are Uh, it's a shame we can't go down that way because there's all there's all steps there's all steps down there I don't know how many but I, I do remember going that way once before and there was quite a few steps we can glide along there if you want all along there's all straight to the end yeah we can just ride to the end there's a bit that goes straight that takes you a little bit off road let's go that way um, I don't know how we're going to cross here though that's the only where? Is there a tunnel, is there? No, I don't think there is. Let's have a look. I've never been down this way. I remember walking down the steps. I don't know if there is a tunnel there, though. Oh, there is a tunnel. I never knew this was here, man. I didn't know this was here. Oh, yeah, cool. Well, that makes our life a lot easier and a lot safer. My head's almost touching the light there. <laughs> I never knew that that tunnel was there. I never knew that was there. I never ever knew that was there. Nah. And I've been out this way a few times. I've been out this way a few times and I've never ever seen that there. But yeah, if we follow this road to the end, it turns off right, but if we go straight, there's a bit of off road, we can go, we can go that way. Yeah, that's a lot easier to cross like that, isn't it? Yeah, I'd rather go through that tunnel than try and cross there, because that is crazy busy. I like the foot plate on this scooter as well. You can, there's a lot more room on the deck compared to the Xiaomi scooter. Hey man. It's nice when you get people that are polite. It picks your day up. Yeah, plenty of room on the deck for me to stand side by side. My feet, if you can see that. But there's also a nice bit of room for me to put my foot on the back plate which goes up above the wheel that's metal so it's nice and strong the one thing i did come across on this scooter now, i don't know if it was one of my kids playing around could have been possibly but uh i had a fr flat front tire and um i waited about I don't know, about a week after that, I pumped it up. I waited a, about a week. That's why I didn't go out on the scooter because I wasn't sure if it had a slow puncture. I waited for a week, uh, pumped it back up. Well, pumped it back up, waited a week and the tire's still solid. So maybe it was one of my kids messing around. <laughs> it's possible, I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, nice and solid now. We've got 45 PSI in the front and in the back, just to mention that. And I am weighing in at 15.6 stone. Just so you know my weight and my height is uh, six foot three so we got plenty of um, room it's not too the handlebars are not too low they're actually quite
quite high up actually to be honest they're perfect size they come just a little bit above my waist if you're pulling away or you're riding around in a busy area or like town or something like that then i would recommend definitely i would recommend to do single motor rather than double motor another thing that I've noticed about this scooter as well do not do sharp turns when you do sharp turns that's how I fell off this scooter is not good at turning sharp because at the bottom on the wheel when you turn left or right it doesn't allow you to stop turning it you can just turn all the way so if you turn too sharp there's a good chance you are gonna fall off this is definitely a scooter for for those speed freaks Anybody who loves speed, this is, this is the scooter. I've got to about 30 miles an hour or just over on this scooter. And when you get to over 30 or even you get close up to like 25, 26, it doesn't look that fast, but it is crazy scary because um, of course you're, I'm on very, very small wheels. I'm on eight inch wheels. <laughs> They're very, very small. When you get speeds like that, it's um, yeah, it can be a little scary. But the one thing I do love about this scooter is not so much the speed. Yeah, I love the speed. It picks up real quick. Look at this. It picks up speed real quick. But the main thing that I like about it is the battery life. Now this one is the 24.5 amp Samsung battery. Range recommended about 55 miles. You know, if you was doing it on single single motor and you're not a very heavy guy and you're not carrying a backpack and all extra gear like I am, you could probably get close to the 60 mile mark or even more than that. And that's why I like this scooter because when me and big man go out for a ride, I can use this scooter, which the battery lasts ages. And then for big man, we can charge up his Xiaomi with uh, my electric pump. Uh, my electric pump, my electric power bank, which uh, we did a review and we've shown videos on that. Now, the power bank only gets me up to about 20% from zero to full on the Xiaomi and then the power bank is dead. But an extra 20% battery, you'll be surprised how far that can actually take you. So that's not bad. And I think that power bank cost me, it was just over a hundred and something pounds. Now it's not, as I said, it doesn't charge it to full, unfortunately, but it does get at least 20 percent which is good we did do a test on that as well we've tested that power bank to its maximum for sure now, i'm not going to go too fast around here because i know there is horses i will change the camera view up a little bit in a moment so that way you can see a little more but for now i just wanted to keep the camera down so you can kind of get a rough idea of the speeds that i'm going had an itchy beard <laughs> yeah turn that way bigs big man he can't hear me he is slightly deaf big man big man yo up this way I'm going to lift the camera up a little bit just so you get a bit more of a, of a view of what we're seeing. So when I did fall off the scooter, I didn't hurt myself that much. Um, I say not that much. I didn't actually cut any skin or anything. There wasn't bleeding, so pretty decent. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly show you the turning radius on this thing. So look how much this thing can turn that's quite a lot so because it can turn a lot if you take sharp turns there's a good chance you will be falling off this thing has got so much sheer power and of course you do have the turbo button as well which that gets you absolutely insane speeds without the turbo i think i get around about 17 miles an hour with the turbo on that's when you can get up to speeds of 
of 30, very quick, very fast. It does not take very long at all. So I think we come up this way once before on one of the Xiaomi's. Yeah, we did. And I ended up turning around and coming back down because uh, I've never been up this way. I kind of got a little bit lost and I wasn't sure of which way to turn, so. It's the first time me doing a little bit of off-road on this scooter. I've never been off-road on this thing. It does have front and back suspension as well, just to mention if any of you didn't know that. fast just because I haven't really been this way before let's try the mud that's not too bad I feel like I'm proper squeezing the handlebars though since I've come on to the gravel one my right hand is squeezing the uh, handlebar a lot more and that's not a bad thing because it means there's a chance that I, I ain't gonna fall off because I'm holding on nice and tight <laughs> Now we're going to make our way along this way. We're going to make a few videos because I want as many videos as I can on the channel of this, talking about this scooter and how it's holding up and stuff. So uh, the next video shall be the Cabo, Cabo Mantis 8 Pro Plus doing a little bit of off-road, which uh, is going to be interesting to see. Big man is down there, he's got off, he's walking up, but yeah overall it's an amazing scooter, uh, we have travelled, how many miles have we travelled, let's have a look, um, is it that one, no, okay that's the speed modes, uh, so in total, um, since I've had the scooter, not a lot, but um, 22.9 miles that's how far i've been on the scooter oh actually it's the odo isn't it so 24 24 miles exactly doesn't say how many miles trip it says 22.9 i haven't traveled 22 miles already definitely not because i wouldn't have a hundred percent battery but when i do ride i like it to be on the voltage i just like to see the volts and um, this scooter is in miles per hour. You can have it in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. I chose miles per hour because here in the UK, that's just what we use. Obviously it does have indicators, the horn, but the horn doesn't work unless you connect one. And obviously yeah, it has the front and back lights. It lets you know that it's on, which is, is pretty cool. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this one. Keep an eye out. We're gonna do some off-roading and uh, see how this thing stands up. So the Cabo, Cabo Mantis 8 Pro Plus and then big man's doing wheel spins hold on let's see some of that I want to see some of that wheel spinach <laughs> go on get some of that wheel spinach do it again do that wheel spin again I want to see that <laughs> so that's the me electric scooter Pro 2 M365 Pro 2. <laughs> That's a good way to clean your wheels. So we're going to end the video here. Keep an eye out for more videos. Make sure you are subscribed. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.